I noticed this container last week. It's got a curtain up front. I've just realised I can pull that at the bottom to one side and uh, create a shooting window. His access route back in the same way. I'll go down back here. I can make my way inside. Let's pause that up. Pause it up a bit, but I can get in there. I can shoot out the other side. So, what I'm thinking is this will be another session for magpies. Got all this field. I water trough in summer. I'll attract wood pigeons. Not sure about this time of year. I don't know if this container will be there then, but it's here now, so I'm going to make use of it. Be able to look out onto this field. Put a bait out. Probably put a bait out just over there and then might use that bottom part of the pylon as a sitting area before they come down to the bait. There's plenty of magpies and crows in this area and rooks. So it's definitely worth a try. Ready made container, it's been here a while. So they'll be more than used to it and they're not going to expect me hiding away inside, sniping as they come down for some bait. I think that'll be my next trip out. Morning everyone. Bright and early in South Yorkshire. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning now. It's just come light. I'm sat inside. It's like an old shipping container that's been converted into a barn for events up at the farm. Got a wood pigeon out here later on its back, some feathers plucked. I've got a magpie decoy sat next to the middle. They're about 29 yards from where I'm sat. Hopefully it should be long till we get its first visitors. Well, I had a little bit of away this morning. It was raining first thing, first hour or so. Uh, be sat here about an hour and then uh, a couple of crows were showing an interest. They flew over at Magpie and Bait. And then they landed in like a, it's a bit like a telegraph pole, but it's got electrics on it. They landed on top of the air pair and they were looking straight at me, so I, I couldn't move rifle. I was just hoping they were going to drop down onto it where bait where I could take a shot. They did drop into the field, but they didn't show any interest in bait. They, uh, they went out to about 100 yards, and you can't take them sort of shots with a sub 12 foot pound air rifle. 50 yards, and it's still conditions today, I'd have, uh, I'd have had a shot. This is what I'm inside this morning. You can see I've got my rifle there. 
got a chair on top of an old beer keg. I don't know if you can make iron distance. There's a couple of pumps for beer. This container is used for events at farm. Obviously, it needs a good tidy up. But it's ideal for me. It's dry, it's hard at wind. It's nice and dark. And magpies and crows are used to it. So it plays to my advantage. This is view I've got this morning. You can just make a bait and magpie decoy at end at silencer. The usual setup. Yeah, and arms ultimate sporter. Camcorder fixed on top. So, due to new uh, general license conditions, there might be a few people wondering well, why I'm actually shooting these magpies. It's about 100 yards away, it's a farmyard. In that farmyard, there's a lot of like, silage bags, which is bedding and feed for uh, cattle through winter. What magpies and crows are doing, They're ripping holes in that, in their bags. Then when rain and damp gets in, it spoils feed. Uh, when they've created holes in it, they defecate in it, which is obviously the risk of transferring disease onto cattle. So I've set up not too far away from that area, because I know they frequent that area. And that's my justification for shooting these magpies this morning. So watching them crows, uh, I saw a couple of magpies coming. Uh, they flew over a bit, and I think they landed in little bit of strand of woodland to my left that was sort of behind me. Uh, got rifle up in preparation and uh, anticipation of coming down. Got camcorder on record. And about a minute later both bank pies dropped in at side of bait. Took first one nice and clean, uh, out of long shot. It went about two yards then dropped. The second one I think shot went a little bit low. Uh, it's gone about 10 yards and I, I've seen it already, it's laid in edge of wood. 
So that's two. Uh, I did go out, make sure that second one were uh, dispatched properly. I've recovered both magpies. So I brought them back into a uh, container with me. And uh, it's just a case of disturbed area a little bit, so it might take half an hour, another hour for uh, old showing interest again. So it's time for a coffee and uh, sit out, see what happens. That second one, only made it to edge row. Didn't make it very far. That's two in bag.